Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Brian here, I'm going to be doing another shave video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a mail call shave. I just got this in the mail today, which is the Fine Accoutrements Marble Razor. And I'm very excited about trying this out. As you can see, it's got a nice box. It says, for uncanny shaving performance. So I'm hoping to have that kind of performance today. Anyway, the box is nice, comfortable, and efficient on the side, it says an engineering marble, which I hope it is. I want to try this razor out. And the back of it has the uh, spef specifications on about the razor. So, simple box, not, not too bad presentation. And it is made in China. There's a little tab that says made in China right there. So anyway, this is the outside of the box. The inside of the box has a razor like this, another sleeve, which when you open this up, the razor's right there, which is a beautiful looking razor. It's a three piece, and I believe it weighs 93 grams, which is kind of heavy for a razor. So anyway, it's got the top, the top cap's a little bit thin. It's got a huge uh, closed comb on um, bottom cap, which hopefully it gives a nice mild to uh, medium aggressive shade, which I like, because I have sensitive, sensitive skin. So here's the top cap, the bottom cap right there. It's got some good heavy feel to it. The handle has nice knurling. It's a nice thick handle. It's got the knurling right here. It's got the um, defined logo on the bottom. And they say it's made out of zinc alloy. They mentioned precision molded zinc alloy with chrome electroplating. So that's what this is made out of. So 93 grams is pretty heavy considering if you think about the Mercury 34, which is 68 grams. As you can see, comparison is a little bit, definitely a little bit bigger. It's got the longer handle, just a, just a tad bit longer. So hopefully the shave will be just like this. This is one of my favorite razors, so hopefully the shave will be similar to that. So my soap of choice I'm going to be using is my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD soap, which is a nice barbershop set. Oh, it smells good. So this is a take on the Barbasol, I think the old Barbasol scent from decades ago. So this will be a nice shave. And I'll be using, in the razor, I'll be using my Shark Super Stainless Blade, which is the first use on that blade. And I'll be using my vintage, my vintage, vintage rubber set brush, which I restored with a timber, uh, gray timber wolf knot from Maggard's. So I'm excited about trying this out. This is a new, uh, it's kind of a new brush for me to try out with a new knot. I just put the knot in there uh, a couple days ago. So hey, let me go ahead and wash up my face and get set up and go ahead and load my brush. And I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. My first pass here. So I loaded this soap up. Uh, it's a soft soap. The cat is a soft soap, so it took me a a little bit less time to lather up to load on my brush because it's a soft soap. So I say about 15, 20 seconds. So hope everybody's having a good week so far. I just got my flu shot today, so this arm right here where I got my shot at, that's actually kind of sore. So so the nurse that I put my, did the flu shot at work on my arm, did it very slow. So I kind of had that, felt that needle the whole time it went in. <laughs> so anytime you have a flu shot, make sure they put it in real quick, quick in and out. <laughs> and I would really encourage anybody to get the flu shot. Because after last year's uh, disaster with the flu, all these people getting sick. You know, it's definitely wise to get the flu shot. So as you can see, the lather is great on this soap. I love CAD. I love the uh, all the Phoenix soaps that they make. 
that he makes, Douglas makes. Nice, nice scent also. The lather, lather and slickness, I would say, would be about pretty up there with all the other soap makers. Very, very nice slickness. Scent, I would say, would probably be about six on this soap. When you lather your face lather up, it's a little bit more pronounced. It comes out a little bit better. All right, so anyway, let me start that first pass with this razor. The fine marble razor. All right, let me go ahead and start that first pass with the green. Definitely a heavy razor. So, I have one day of growth, so I'm going to be doing a two pass shave a night. So, I'm going to be doing it with the grain and against the grain. So, I was on the website for Fine, and I was reading about this razor, the reviews from people that bought the razor. And most of the reviews have been pretty positive. Everything from being smooth, very smooth razor, very mild razor. It went from mild to aggressive. Some people said it was aggressive. And so far it's been far it's been a nice smooth shave on this side. So I wouldn't say it'd be aggressive. It's probably more like a mild side. So they advertise the blank gap as being clog proof, so so far it has been clog proof. But I only have one day to grow with my hair on my face, so So for really for really for me to test this out I, I would probably have to have like three days of growth in my face to really see if it's clog proof, but Nevertheless, it's pretty smooth so far. So far, so good. This razor with the blade, with the sharp blade combo, has been doing is doing great. You can hear a little bit of feedback on the razor. So definitely a little bit, I would say this is probably a little bit more aggressive than the 34C. It's got a little more weight to it. I'm just letting the weight of the blade do the shaving, do the cutting the hair. But I can, I can already tell if you put too much weight on this razor, it will definitely bite you. So far, a nice shave. A nice, fine shave. <laughs> Alright, guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face. And I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. So that first pass is great. No, no nicks at all. Pretty, pretty smooth. So pretty, pretty smooth for a first pass. I definitely feel some places I need to work on. Uh, go back and get some touch up a little bit here. So that's why I'm doing my second pass against the grain. Then anyway, we got that CAD loaded up on this vintage ever, I'm sorry, not ever already, rubber, rubber set brush. And it's a beautiful brush, by the way. It's got the black and the uh, gold, gold um, handle on the end there. Really nice. So I saw this brush at a flea market and I bought it from a flea market, a vendor for next to nothing. Had like a nice, pretty old Boron in it, so I just took the Boron out, just drilled it out, 
cleaned it up a little bit, sanded the handle down a little bit down, and bought a knot from Maggards. I w I've been wanting to try the the Timberwolf knot, so I saw that on Maggards. Wasn't sure if it was gonna fit this handle. This handle's a little bit small. I mean, you can tell a little bit. It's a little bit smaller handle than normal than than other um, shaving brushes. So I wasn't sure if it would fit the handle. So I got a 22 millimeter knot, hoping it would fit the handle. So I got I actually had to do a little bit more drilling to fit the knot into the handle. But either way, uh, but other than that it came out pretty pretty good. All right, let me go to that second pass. All right. So against the green, let's try this thing out. So a very nice, smooth razor. I can see what the people are saying about the reviews, how smooth it is. So on their website on Fine, they mention this razor as being the pinnacle of traditional wet shaving performance. So so far, it's living up to that. To what they're saying. Oh man, this soap is amazing. It smells great. This is one of my favorite barbershop smelling soaps. And definitely one you should have in your den. Any wet shaver, if they love barbershop scented soaps, definitely need to have this in your den. Very, very nice soap. It's been out, I know it's been out for at least a good three or four years, so. Very, very nice soap. So anyway, this razor came out earlier this month in September. So I was really waiting for it to come out. I saw the different reviews from other people did. Uh, Tim Zub did a review on his Facebook page about this razor. I believe Jason did one. Jason uh, Rudman did a review also that I watched. And they both said it was an exceptional razor, so that's why I wanted to try it out. It's only, I think it's only forty dollars, so it's not a bad price for. For this razor. So it's not really a premium razor, but it's definitely a good razor that anybody can afford. So. So that's so far so good. Let me go ahead and do the side of my face right here. Around this area, I always get like a little bit of irritation right here, but I don't put extra soap on there, so. So funny story, I have a friend at work who goes to flea markets all the time. He goes to state sales. He told me that uh, he had a razor that he picked up from the flea market. I wanted to know if I wanted, he wanted to let me, he basically let me know, if, asked me if I wanted to see it and take it from him, if I wanted it, so he said it was in the case. So the whole time I'm thinking, you know, it's probably a vintage, hopefully a vintage, vintage Gillette, maybe a fat boy or aristocrat, something really nice. Anyway, comes to work with a razor yesterday. Come, you know, hands me a little bag, tells me I can have it if I want it. Open a bag. It's one of those Pawn Star razors from Pawn Star. You know the the Weishi looking like, but it, I mean it, it isn't a case. It's in the box. It came in the little cellophane box. I mean it's been used at least once because it's been you know the box has been open. So <laughs> much to my dismay, I was disappointed. But I, anyway, I I have that Weishi already, so I let him have that razor. I told him just to keep it, give it to someone else that might want it. But man, I was disappointed. 
I thought that was a pretty funny story. I asked him what kind it was, he couldn't tell me, but... So... I was anticipating for several days about what he had. Alright, so that's the second pass, which is my final pass. Let me go ahead and rinse, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So to follow up my shave, gotta go with the CAD. The CAD bomb. I had the aftershave splash, but since I'm going to bed, this is a night shave and I'm going to bed, I don't want to smell like a cologne shop, so I'm going to be using this tonight. So this has a nice scent to it also. The splash is pretty strong, so if you plan on buying any Phoenix aftershaves, they can be used for colognes also because they're, they're pretty strong. I would say the scent strength on them are about as close to a 9 or 10. I mean, they're, I'm not exaggerating, they're pretty, the longevity are pre, is pretty long on, on the aftershaves. I think I put the cat on one day, one morning, I went to work about 5.30 in the morning and left work about 5 and people were, one of my coworkers said they can still smell it around 4 o'clock. So definitely, definitely has a longevity. So if you definitely, if you want to put on an aftershave that's not that strong, that's made by Phoenix, I would get the balm and try that on. It leaves a great post-shave feel. Definitely try the balm. So anyway, my recap, I'm going to be, I used the Marvel, the Fine Marvel Sigley Razor. Very nice razor, very, very nice quality build to it. Um, I had a good, decent shave. I'm gonna. I want to try it with maybe a, maybe with a more heavier facial growth. You know my hair. Maybe like four, maybe three, four days. But nevertheless, I got a good shave off this razor. Very impressed with it. Very smooth. And it's, it's a nice looking razor to look at. It has a nice knurling right there. And I just love this razor. I can see why people love this on the reviews from the fine website. So I use this. I use the uh, sharp super stainless blade, which was the first use. Very nice blade, by the way. I used my refurbished rubber set brush with the Tinder Wolf knot. And like I said, this is a 22 millimeter um, knot. Very, ni very nice knot. I would say this is comparable to the tuxedo synthetic knots you see out there or the Sunrise knot. It's got good display on it. It's very, very soft, so very nice knot. Very nice brush, by the way. I'm glad I found this handle. I was able to find a nice knot to match it to go inside this little handle. So, anyway, I used my CAD soap for the shave of the day, which is very, very nice soap. So, definitely a very nice barbershop scent. If you like barbershop scents, definitely get this soap. Very, very nice. So, anyway, guys, you guys hope you have a good night. And, ah. Uh, my final break about the razor, very nice razor. Definitely, definitely a good razor to, to um, you know, maybe for a new wet shaver. <clears throat> to me, it's kind of mild, so I didn't have a problem with it, with, with, it, with, the, with the angle and everything, with the angle of the razor. These bottom bars with the angle, it makes it impossible to cut yourself. So, so if you use the window of the razor against your skin and not push in, you'll have a very smooth shave. So it's not, definitely not a very, very aggressive razor. Probably about a medium to mild. So I would, I would compare this almost close to the 34C. Maybe a little bit, a tiny bit aggressive, but not much more aggressive than that. But definitely, definitely a good fine shave. So anyway, hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will see you guys later. Take care.